Don't cry, wolf, when you can just go slaughter one. The door is locked. Okay, so can't we just beat it down? Exactly. He successfully forced the door open. Oh, shit. That wolf's attacking. It attacked Clot. No one attacks my Clot. Oh, shit. Wolf equals death. The party has gained 120 experience. My sword, if you can count the wolf, on, me. on the other hand, has gained nothing. Now we could probably ransack this place. The glass cabinet contains several finished pieces of beautifully carved and polished scrimshaw. Well, unfortunately for the party, I do have a paladin who is not going to allow any kind of thievery. Even from Fidget, his best friend. How a paladin and a fighter thief get along so well? I don't know. Number of scrimshaw carvings are arrayed about this table. Each of them appear to be in various stages of completion. So he's a scrimshaw carver, it looks like. Um... Rows of knucklehead trout bones have been neatly arranged on these shelves. Uh, for a 10-year-old game, the graphics are quite intricately detailed. I love it. I mean, you can see grains on the wood, uh, in the barrels. You know, everything is just fucking beautiful. Don't kid yourself. I am on it. Fucking awesome. Awesome game. Thanks, my friend. The wolf is no more. I'm not a happy man. Thank you for helping me. A little something for your trouble. All right. So we've helped another person out. Uh, Just say ready and willing. We I dropped here. the item because we're fooled here. All right. Uh, yeah, there we go. It is a Absol's dagger. Crafted by Absol, the Scrimshot, a resident of East Haven. The dagger has a keen edge. The grip is made of intricately carved knucklehead trout bone. It's a plus one to my Thacko, which uh, means to hit armor class of zero, for those of you who forgot or don't remember or never knew. 1d4, which means we get a uh, four-sided dice roll off of it. It's a piercing weapon. Uh, it would be a good thief weapon or a good dual-handed weapon. Um, but... I don't really see a... I can't remember if you can dual wield in this. Anyways, we'll hang on to it. Uh, where the freak is my shield? I never put one on Ronstock. Did I? How did Ronstock get fucked out of a shield? Well... You know what? No big deal. I'd rather the clot has it anyways. Gotta protect my good-looking female cleric. Let's go explore down here a little bit. Get some of this uh, fog of war out of the way, if you will. That's his warehouse, most likely. The fishmonger warehouse. Every once in a while you get a person stuck down there. That happens. Pounds person. Pounds person. Is this warehouse foreman? Alright. At your command. My sword is yours. Well, let's see if the foreman needs any help. It shall be done. Good day. I'm chilling. How may I help you? Good day to you, chair. Have you heard about anything interesting happening in East Haven lately? Well, you're spending as much time as I do here in this stuffy old warehouse. I don't get to hear much gossip. If you really want to know what's going on in these parts, I suggest you buy a few rounds over at the Winter Cradle Tavern. You'll find the drinking and spinning yarns are two of East Haven's favorite pastimes. Okay, so... Just say the word. I shall see too. Don't think there's anything I... too interesting going on with that pecker. Ready, now. and you can count on me. Oh, what we need to check out here is... What the f...
Okay, well, uh, I'm not sure why I only get to cast a magic missile once. Pretty sure at level one you get a couple or a few spells, especially with 18 intelligence. Uh, hmm, I don't know. I'll have to look into that. It doesn't make sense. I shouldn't just have one magic missile. That's fucking caca. That is fucking caca. Old Jed. Hey there, matey. How are you? <coughs> Do it. Nice to meet you. How are you? That's <laughs> so good, matey. Grisama, the fat bitch over at Winner's Cradle, cut me off. How am I supposed to get my proper fish? Da. Uh, I don't know. Just do it with liquor, maybe. <laughs> Barkeep said I've been tweaking too much, but what the fuck does that fat hooker know? I've only overturned my boat three, well, four times. Anyways, I need to find me some wine, some fish, and some hot bitches. Can you help me out? Hmm. Alcohol isn't a solution to your vocational dilemmas. I suggest you go see a priest about your problems. Well, I like this one better. Well, is there anything I can do to support your downward spiral into oblivion? Yeah, you could go to Boom Bob's and fetch me some wine. Then I could get back to me fish, and I'd be grateful for it. I go get it myself, but two summers past, I got so mad at that pompous son of a bitch, I threw his sorry behind him to lag dinner share. Sure, you seem like a nice old man in that drunken fisherman short away. Ah, right, thanks, Sir Matey. You can find Poor Mom's store in the northeast corner. Great. All right, well, let's go buy. Well, we can sell while we're at it. Let's go help out the old fart knocker real quick here. I'm just going to my auto map. I love it. Bam. Bam, wham, and thank you, ma'am. All right, so here we are at the shopkeepers. Let's first let's go ahead and sell our luck if we can. It's only been a decade since I played this. Buy, sell. Here we go. Sell, sell. There we go. All right, multiple selling. Chainmail, battle axe, short bow. I'm not really interested in bows right now. I'm going to have to drop those. 25 gold for the knucklehead trout. I'm going to go ahead and hang on to that and the dagger for now. I'm not entirely sure if I want to sell them. And a bottle of wine for two gold. We'll get two just in case. I don't want him to tell me he needs another one. You know how these games work. Ah, uh, I'm not so drunk yet. I need another bottle of wine. Then I got to cut his throat. All right. back here and we'll wait for the party they're making their way I'm sure there they come you can count oh. on me I have a bottle of wine for me matey I'm indeed grateful You better make that last, Captain. You're not always going to have strapping adventures around to get you your medicine. And we got a little experience there. I stand ready. And I don't need the wine. We'll drop it on the ground for him. Oh, I didn't want to waste that. Duty calls. There you go. He's My got, he's got some backup wine now. Now, where the hell is this punk kid?
Not check here yet? I shall see to it. We're almost out of time on this video. Well, the door's not ajar, so I'll assume I haven't been in here. You crazy bitch. Oh, this is the end. Just say the word. Oh, I don't know where else to go. I'll find him. Either way, we'll be back next video, folks. <laughs> Thank you, folks, for watching, folks.